Coming up on Wife Swap. Two women worlds apart. A social media mum who's obsessed with technology. We lead a very go, go, go lifestyle. Welcome to my channel. Online in front of the camera. And an old-fashioned country mum who lives a tech-free life. We're definitely an anti-technology family. We live off our farm, grow our own veg. We slaughter our own beef and cattle. And I don't use any cleaning chemicals. But when they swap lives, their world is turned completely upside down. Boring. Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go. It was like she was power walking down to the coffee shop. Ah! Uh, I don't think milking is. This is a really good moment. We're going to get Heidi's tooth coming out. Her children are guinea pigs in an online generation. Until the new mum calls all the shots. The vlogging stops now. We are going online. I'm not really an internet kind of person. It's my rule. Suck it up. You ready? I don't see the point. Do you think we could take guinea pigs outside? Nope. And when the couples meet for Judgment Day... I spent some time vlogging each person in the family. No. And those videos are now online. No, no. That's the ultimate betrayal of privacy. That was my personal choice. Who will be... Why? ...the better parent. I'm going to cry now. This is Wife Swap. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a pantry organisation video. I am a vlogger on YouTube. We've got the pretzels, we've got popcorn, we've got some dried fruit. So I have a main channel where I do instructional type information. And then we have a daily vlogging channel, which is pretty much just family home movies. What are you doing grilling the donut? We actually filmed a thousand vlogs in a thousand days. So we lead a very go, go, go lifestyle. Meet the city slicker online obsessed Jackson family. Why you don't have hair? Fast paced mum Ash, highly strung husband James, and their three camera loving children Heidi, Archie, and Louie. Thank you. you only have one life, so you may as well live it. Online, in front of the camera. He looks very cute right now, and in the day and age that we're in, it means that we can. Country life is a shoe-in, for sure, over city life. Enjoy the slow life. Definitely an anti technology family. It's like we were born 100 years ago. Meet the old fashioned, off the grid, and completely offline. Hagar family. Farmhand mum Janine. Slow paced husband Gav. <laughs> and their four outdoor loving kids Max, Natasha, Eric and youngest son, Ruben. Oi, don't. No kids should be using computers at all. They should play outside and be creative. Ooh. Social media people are no fun to be around because they're not talking to you, they're talking to their little screen. So without technology, you're definitely more connected to the real world. All right, so this is the veggies that we're having for dinner tonight. You just got to hope there's no snakes. We're pretty self-sufficient. We live off our farm, grow our own veg. And you got a few tomatoes in your roofs. Mm. We slaughter our own, our own meat. beef and cattle. Mainly sheep. As well as pigs. <laughs> which we'll eat later on. Yeah. And I don't use any cleaning chemicals in the house. So because we don't use any chemicals, there's lots of spiders. 
So I hope the new wife doesn't mind lots of insects because we have a big variety and lots of them. We are very house proud people. I do not like this. If I went to a house that had mud and dirt tracked through it, creepy crawlies left, right and centre, I would be, like, crying. The social experiment has begun. Shorts, activewear... And the wives prepare to swap lives and families. All packed? Oh, I'm getting there. I'm taking my farm boots. I'm not sure why. I've even got the Daggy Farm T-shirt. In case there's a cow in the case there's a cow in the Can you go and grab my black strappy heels? Don't put those on my carpet, please. I'm definitely nervous about what I'm stepping into because I can't prepare. OK, we're going to come through here. Yeah. Oh, you're OK. Daisy's saying goodbye. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit anxious now. It's a bit real. Never been out of contact with them their whole lives. Bye bye. 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 The wives travel to opposite ends of the country as they get ready to move into each other's home. It seems very quiet, very farmy, very rural. There are a lot of sheep. Definitely no livestock. <laughs> They're all pretty small backyards. Oh, is this the house? Oh, my gosh. I should not be wearing heels. actually never seen a house like this before. Like, it's... it's old. Oh, it's dirty. Very modern, neat, tidy, white. Quick to pass judgement at face value, farmhand mum Janine and clean freak mum Ash... Let's do this. ..will further scrutinise each other's home before meeting their new family. Well, it's definitely not a no-shoes house. Oh, it's definitely not a no-shoes house. Very white. <laughs> and clean. Oh! Holy sugar! No way! Nah. That is the biggest spider I've ever seen. I don't think I want to go and have a look at the other rooms. Bedroom number one. No, that's not it. Seriously? This is one of the little kids' bedrooms. Boring. Oh, good grief. That is super organised. It's good to display your designer label shoe boxes so the kids know that they're wearing designer label shoes. This is not the cleanest kitchen I've ever seen. There's, like, flies in the sink. That's why there's flies. Oh, it smells so bad. Wow, it's really clean. <laughs> Oh, cool, there's cleaning chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> and bleach. That's very good for your system. Not. Oh, no. There's meat and it's not covered. Is this a sheep? I love technology. Yeah, so you should have it in your lounge room. Then you can watch it from your kitchen table. This is cute. I wouldn't mind sleeping in here. It's organised to some extent. Oh, but I've seen it. And there's another spider up on the wall. No! 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 Each wife has written a household manual which describes their rules and how to run their home. I'm an old-fashioned mum. We have four children. We escaped city life to break away from that rat race. Rat race? That's an interesting word. I feel like it's negative. As millennials, I'm a highly organised and goal oriented mum of three. I'm the type of person that if I don't have a routine, my head would fall off. It actually physiologically won't. Life will continue. 
We live long way out of town, so we are pretty self-sufficient. We grow our own veggies, milk our own cow, and produce our own meat. I hope I'm not going to be expected to, to do that. Between us, we would pick up a camera about 100 times a day. 100 times a day! That's quite sad and completely intrusive. But going by the lack of window dressing, they like their life being quite intruded. When it comes to tech, I am super strict. No electronics and none of the kids play computer games. She's gonna struggle in my house. Oh, I have a YouTube channel about our family. I've even vlogged each child's birth. Oh. The vlogs all received more than a million views, so she's put her online and a million people have looked at it. Okay. I'm seeing a, like a, a closed off mindset. So I'm a bit worried about that. Do I really have to live this woman's life? Holy mother. With both wives afraid of the unknown, it's now time to face the music and meet their new husband and children. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Max. I'm James. Hi, I'm Janine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Louis, say hi, Janine. Hi, Louis. Nice to meet you. This is Archie. Hi, Archie. Hello. Hi. Hi, This hi. is Janine. Say hi. Hi. How are you? Good. And Gavin. Gavin. Nice, nice to meet hi. you. Hi. Yeah, yeah. So I've read the manual. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm quite surprised. We live really different lives. Where are you from? I am from Brisbane in Queensland. I am a social media blogger. So we do a lot on the internet. From what I hear, I don't think your mum's going to like that very much. <laughs> we have chosen to not be part of the technological yeah. world. So that's a part of your philosophy? Definitely. You guys have got quite an active mm -hmm. online presence as a family. Do you ever think that those videos should be for your viewing? No, I guess I have a lot of convincing to do. We're not putting ourselves out there to be controversial. Right, OK. So what would Janine usually do around now? What she Start usually dinner. This time of day? Starting dinner? Start dinner, yeah. And what kind of things do you have for dinner? Steak. Steak. <laughs> I do not know how to cook steak. I want to tell you that right now. Like, this is a real deal. Uh, did you bring some boots? Boots? Yeah. No, I don't own boots. But I have, like, runners. Will that oh, be okay. all right? Yeah, that's OK. Totally good. I'll change. I'll get okay. changed now. OK. There's no zipping out to McDonald's. There's no zipping out to Woolies. There's no Uber Eats. If I don't cook this meal, then nobody eats. No. Don't want to play with fire, literally. Okay, I'm going to take this lip. I'm good. I'm good. What was it? It was a big spider. <laughs> On the detail. There's no spider. There was a, definitely a spider. <laughs> oh, is he still on me? Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, it's just a little huntsman. minutes and she's already scared of a little spider. I don't know how she's going to last the rest of the week. I feel like I'm going to be a bit of a threat by the end of it all. At the remote and slow-paced Hagar home, 
City slicker mum, Ash. Do you cook your steak all the way through? I just get it how it's given to me. Right. <laughs> has swapped lives with farmhand mum, Janine. Well, I do an excellent job of being your mummy. Yeah. We'll see about that. And Ash is not only struggling with country life. Would you like some raw milk? I'm actually lactose intolerant, right. so I can't. She's also adjusting to a completely offline family. What do you do for work? Like a social media blogger. What's that? I do videos on YouTube. And they call it a, a vlog. 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 A vlog. Vlog. Yeah, like blog with yeah. a B, only vlog. So like video log. Oh, okay. Mm. I didn't know you could make money out of YouTube. And so being on YouTube, that's worldwide as well. Yeah. <laughs> What's a typical video? The ones that have actually done really well are my birth videos. <laughs> Of your kids? Yeah. What, in the birthing room? Yeah. On, around the world? Yeah, like, I was... <laughs> we were obviously really strategic about where we put the camera. There was nothing yeah, yeah, unsightly. Yeah. yeah. This is a lovely dinner conversation. <laughs> Very cool. As the social experiment moves into day two... Once upon a time, I thought we'd make it to the show. It's rise and shine at the tech-obsessed Jackson home. You know what to put on? Wow, look at that. That's a lot of stuff on there. And with the kids already plugged in... I would never, ever put a TV on in the morning. Anti-tech mum Janine is immediately riled up. They laid there, they weren't even engaged in what they were watching. They weren't watching it, but they weren't doing anything else. It was no thinking. It's disappointing. And to make matters worse... Homework? The TV's interfering with the kids' education. Can you grab a book? When I had to get Archie to do his homework with me. Archie, we'll watch it later. Leave the controller over there, please. He wasn't concentrating on what I was saying. Wow, that's a wide six. Don't watch the telly One, two, if you can help three. it. Archie, just try and look at the paper, please. Not the wrong direction, mate. So, that's OK, start again. His homework was really untidy. And I've looked through his book. I know he could do better than that. Stop and think. Stop, stop, stop. Before you draw, think about it. See, now, don't, we're looking at the paper. We're not looking at the telly. Please try not to see it. That's why I don't let my kids watch TV. It just shortens that attention span. Have a look at your work. Is that your neatest? We do it. I know it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Do it this way. Sorry, I'm not trying to upset you. Just look at the paper. Don't look up. It really upsets me, so I haven't changed my views yet. OK. Back to the telly. It's a great show. Meanwhile, at the offline Hagar farm, there's no TV in sight, and tech obsessed Ash is dreading her new role as an old fashioned farmhand. I'm gonna go milk the cow. Okay. I'm very nervous about the farm work. Call her and, and just walk her into the shed. And... Is that how Janine does yeah, it? Yeah, just call her. Yeah. Come on, Daisy. I'm not blind to the fact that it's going to be hard on me who's not used to that kind of work, so that I'm scared about. Can you get your head in there? Because you've got some big horns, girlfriend. There. OK, there we go. She's big. Now, is she going to kick? Do I have to worry about legs? No, she's good. OK, so she can't really. Yeah. OK. I mean, move your leg back, Daisy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> So you just, with your thumb and a couple of fingers, you just, like, squeeze. Yeah. yeah. OK. So have it, have it go. That's it. Oh, OK. Yep. Like so now you fill the bucket up. You just got to watch out for a tail. Thank I'll have you do it. Thank you very much. 
I would so prefer to do an hour and a half round trip to get the milk than to do this. Oh. I feel like there's definitely a technique that I just don't have. Ordinarily, I would just look it up on YouTube or I would Google it and I can't do that. They don't have the internet, so I don't have that information at the ready for me. I don't know what to do here. I don't think milking cows. This is not how I would choose to live my life. Great. It's great. Let's get the vlogging camera. Still fuming over living in a house dominated by tech. This is a really good moment. And it only happens once, right, Heidi? Janine sticks to the household rules and begrudgingly takes part in a Jackson family vlog session. We're going to get Heidi's tooth coming out. Are you ready to get it? Oh, you did it. Did, it. Oh, did wow. you do it? That is a tooth. It's surreal. I didn't actually realise people live like this. I can't believe someone would live online and not live in real life. Let me get a shot of your little face. Oh, wow. Did it hurt, Heidi? They've turned themselves into characters on a channel. Wow, you're tough. And there's no proof that this is healthy. And just click it and on. And then just, yeah, and that's it. All oh, right. Do you want to show that to Janine in the camera? Show you that it's a little bit red on the inside? The kids could look back and say, why do I want my entire life online? They've never had any say in it. Hi, yeah. people out there. We've just witnessed Heidi losing her first front oh, tooth. Gina. Pretty excited that I could see the tooth instead of mum. Sorry, mum. <laughs> it was great. My first vlog. Her children are guinea pigs in an online generation. I hope she realises that. Yay! It's the last day of working under old household rules. And city slicker mum Ash isn't coping living the rough life of a farmhand. Ow, this is so gross. I hate this. Living this lifestyle is all, you know, very beautiful scenery. Fresh milk, the free range eggs. Got one egg out of you guys, but most of you are chicks, so you're probably not even laying yet. But there's a fine line between, you know, that and then having these dangerous things to do. <laughs> Feeding the pigs. Cute little pigs you see in petting zoos. They're not like that, they're like wild pigs. <laughs> the noises they were making, the slobber, are like, I was worried. Don't kill me. Okay, you're just gonna do it. Come here. Okay. I will come back for that lid. It's not something I would ever do again. It's the kind of stress that I feel like I can't handle. Back in the city, country mum Janine is also feeling the stress. I'm not a fan of cleaning chemicals or any chemicals of any sort. She's highly frustrated with the Jackson House cleaning rules, which is to use full strength, high grade chemicals. They're just not good for our health and they're not good for our environment. We need to stop using things like this. I can taste that now. That's soaked in through my hands. It's not a nice feeling. The smell is just overpowering. It's hard on the senses. It's hard on your skin. It's, you don't need it. It's just a shame that the kids have to live in an environment that's quite sterilised. They don't get to build up their immunity. Sorry. Just not convinced that it's necessary. Just killed. Thousand million bacteria. Good ones too, not just the bad ones. I really, really miss having cleaning products, obviously. Got my tools. Water only and a cloth. There's only so far water can go. 
Oh my God, I would just blanket this whole bathroom in bleach. And the bath is revolting and the toilet is disgusting. Oh, just does not seem at all hygienic to me. Oh, it smells so bad. I'm desperate to get my hands on some chemicals again. <sighs> some high-grade chemicals. By the afternoon, city life hits full speed as country mum Janine takes the Jackson kids to their mandatory after-school activities. Starting with a modelling shoot for four-year-old Louis, which she strongly opposes. If he got taken up by this talent agency, he would essentially have a job as four-year-old. Good job, buddy. When my children were four years old, they were swimming in dirty damn water, which is really unhygienic, but loads of fun. It's a very nice lady. Is this good fun? <gasps> no modelling. Good, Good boy. Job. So we're off to dance class now because Louis's done his thing, so now he's going to sit quietly while he watches his sister do beautiful ballet for the next three hours. Point! Oh, harder, Heidi. Harder. Want to have a nice straight back. According to the household manual, seven-year-old Heidi goes to eight dance classes every week. Harder. No bananas. No banana, Heidi causing judgmental Janine to have major concern for her well-being. Her routine is too much for a child of her age. She's been up for 11 hours. That's a really long day, and we've still got a lot to do before yep. bed. Heels forward, heels forward, heels forward, heels together. It's just a lot to ask a little person. She just looked like she needed to go and sleep. Where's your smiling face? Would you like to go and get a drink from your water bottles? It's very hot in here, isn't it? I would cut her back to one day a week if she was going to do any dancing at all. So Janine steps in and forces Heidi to tell the truth. Do you really love it? Would you like to do it a little bit less or do you like doing lots? Or would you just like to not do it at all? Do you ever say that to mum? Say, I really don't want to go today. Yeah. Yeah? And what does she say? Does she say, it's OK, we'll just go anyhow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She encourages you to just keep on pushing through and then go to class. Yeah. Well, that's pretty tough and brave. When I meet Ash, I'll be telling her it's quite pushy and it's asking a lot of young children we're finished dance classes now, so we can go home, finally. Yeah. Have a break. Yeah. I am not ashamed to say that I don't think the way she is parenting is OK. I really feel sorry for these kids. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Hagar farm, Ash is back on farm duty. This time, rounding up sheep for shearing. Quick, quick, quick. This is, this is not working. Can I my work? Friggin' running. This is not working. Get in front of him. Now just walk up behind him. Go slow. But the constant stress of being out of her element is finally taking its toll. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Ash! Ash! Go back that way! Sugar! It was like she was power walking down to the coffee shop. Can you guys go through the gate? I hate this. Go, 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 go. Don't let him go. That way? Yeah, watch him. Just let him walk into there. OK. As soon as we actually got the sheep into the shed... Well done, move up. One did jump up on Gav. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I was like, what am I doing in here? Is it safe to be in here? Just be careful, because they are strong, and they'll knock you over. Because you've got to roll it onto its back and grab its front legs and then walk out backwards, and then you're ready to shear. I don't function well when I'm feeling out of my element. So I'm not functioning well. You'll be right. I'm really quite frightened. Now, 
walk backwards. I and his, and his legs will go from underneath it. That's it. They grab the front legs and drag him on his bottom. If there was a bus going out of town right now, I would like to pull that and you'll just get a hold onto it. Yeah, you there. Keep it, keep that pointing up so you don't cut him. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at it. Well, that's all right. She had to go, but no, I wouldn't get a haircut off her. <laughs> There's only three more to go. No, absolutely not. I don't love it. I really don't love it. I'm looking forward to, to getting back home. After struggling to live by each other's rules... I am going to drag this place into the 21st century. Online-obsessed Ash and off-the-grid Janine are ready to take control and lay down their own rules. Not everyone's going to like this, but I'm not backing down on it. Let's do this. Hey, guys. So, it's time for the rule change. I appreciate your choice to lead a chemical-free lifestyle, but it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Water isn't always enough, so we are going to be cleaning the house with chemicals. And we're going to declutter this place. This house has no organisation. Clean out the clutter, what clutter? We had to clean out a couple of weeks ago, so I don't know what's left to chuck out. So, Janine's going to make some rules for you guys that are maybe a bit different to what Mum normally does. The first thing is this house is going chemical free. I don't believe in chemicals. I don't think they're a benefit for us and they're detrimental to our environment. I, I just want them gone. So we're going to learn to clean without it. My next rule... In my home, Taking care of the way you look can make you feel really motivated for the day and improve your mood. So, Gav, the beard, it's coming off. Gav's getting a makeover. I haven't been to a hairdresser since I was a teenager. None of you have ever seen me without a beard. No. No. So, it's, that's not an easy step for me. You can't cut it off. That's you. I know. If he doesn't want to, she can't force him to, can she? I just don't like how she's changing Dad. The second rule is that I took Heidi to dance classes yesterday and I've been chatting to her about the amount of dancing that she does and watching her physical exhaustion. So I would like to cut her dance classes down to two classes a week. Um... You'd have to probably ask Ash about that, yeah. but well, um, I mean, it's sorry, all about I'm Ash hands. today, so yeah, these okay. are rules that are going to happen. Yeah, okay. Well, do you think she does a bit too much dancing? She loves it, but I think that she's being asked a lot of as a little person. I think he strongly disagrees with what I'm suggesting to him, but he doesn't want to start a fight. Now for our golden rule. I know you and Janine love living a hundred years ago, but I don't know if that's fair Here to push that on the kids. <laughs> yeah. So, we are going into the 21st century and we are going online. I'm not really an internet kind of person. We are all going to be having a turn at vlogging and connect with other people through that. What if you don't want your everyday life for everyone Views to see? Everyone. I think the rules are just stupid. <laughs> don't want to do it. No. That's my rule, and they're going to have to suck it up. Now for the big one. The golden rule is something that I feel most strongly about. It's a rule that definitely can't be broken. I don't believe children seven and under should use technology at all, full stop, ever. 
So no TV, no laptops. The vlogging stops now. You can have two hands for hugging, not one hand on the camera. I see where you're coming from, but we're not orchestrating them to do things. It's just what, what's happening. You post online about your family. You've got no control over who's seeing it. I'm not okay with it. It's gonna be a, a big ask. We're not gonna do it. That's fine, we'll deal with it, but we'll see if it sticks. Where is everybody? Can everyone come into the, the dining area? In country New South Wales, new rules are in force. I've got a few products in here that I'm going to take on into the kitchen and get started. Clean Freak Mum Ash is on a mission to clear out the dirt-infested Hagar house with chemicals. All right, everyone, off to your rooms, and I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. Oh, my God, this is ridiculous. But she's not convinced the family will play ball. I don't think that they're going to want to stick to my rules. I don't have that much stuff. But I played by their roles for the last couple of days, so now they're going to play by mine. Isn't there anything? I already Just did have this. a look. I did that already. I don't really do this very often. <laughs> Clean up anything, really. Everything in here has a place, and it's meant to be in here. <laughs> Including the guinea pigs. Choosing to rebel against Ash's rules, Natasha is unafraid to suffer the consequences. Guinea, how you going? Finished. You're finished? Yep. <laughs> There's nothing in your box. Exactly. So you've got nothing in your box, and also we have guinea pigs in the house. Is there a reason for that? No? I think it's important that kids learn these basic hygiene skills. Do you think we could take guinea pigs outside? Nope. It's not OK to be dirty. She's not going to be very happy. <laughs> Meanwhile in Queensland, Janine has put a stop to all household cleaning. Keep it! Go, Instead, Yay. giving the Jackson family a taste of farm life. <laughs> Which means getting dirty. Ah! <laughs> now you're all muddy. But clean freak dad James can't handle it. Oh gosh, I'm looking at I'm looking at Louis's shoes and like I probably made the wrong choice Maybe to put him in white, white shoes. Well, yeah. what's the worst that would happen? We have to buy more shoes. Why? But they're just dirty. You just pose them off. I know, but I like them white. I don't care if I walk in there water or mud or they're dung. No, it washes off. Watch this, kids. Ew. I would laugh if you fell over. <laughs> you Thank just you. Over. <gasps> Who's coming in too? The kids. We're just absolutely in their elements. Yes! Yeah! Yuck! It feels like a whole lot of pig poo in the bottom. <laughs> Dad, on the other hand. <laughs> oh, that's. Sometimes it's good to get gross. I feel that Janine has probably a wrong perception of us that because we have a clean house means that we don't actually want our kids to get dirty. As long as we can get out, we can get our shoes back on. It's just, I don't want to do it with nice white shoes and a, and a nice shirt that we paid good money for. I'm glad that we put that singlet on Louis because if we had one of his white brand name shirts on, then the alarm bells would be going off. Louis absolutely filthy. I wonder if that's the dirtiest that child has ever been. <laughs> that pig's eating the good shoes. Oh no, piggy. <laughs> Stop the piggy, Louis. Stop the piggy eating those good shoes. Feeling on top of the world in a much cleaner house, tech-obsessed Ash is onto her golden rule. Now that I have my tech back, I am feeling so much better. She's about to put the offline Hagar family online, starting with Gav. I'm going to be filming you, and you're going to teach everyone how to crutch a sheep today. That's not normal, filming it. I just get on with the job and do it. If you were able to sort of talk us through in the way that you talked me through the other day, then, you know, someone who's watching on the other side of the world will then know how to crutch a sheep. I don't see the point in taking the time to do that. Like, I still don't understand. I know you. 
I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can take a video and stick it on, and it goes out there into out there into the cloud, and it, and it's there forever. Anyone can look at it or access it. Yeah, I know that much. It's, yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. G'day. My name's Gav. Today I'm going to show you how to crush a sheep. I should have said, introduced myself. That's OK. OK. You can go back and do it again. That's the beauty of editing. G'day, I'm Gav. And I, I you know... Look in the lens here. Oh, OK. Yeah. G'day. Today, I'm going to show you how to crush one of our sheep. When you grab the sheep, you go up and grab, it, grab the head, and you... I'll do it as I... It's easy to do it as I do it. So you walk up, grab him by the head, turn his neck, Rolling back, and because he's twisted, he'll go back and sit on his bottom. I didn't take it too serious; just make, you know, have it as a joke, and it, and it didn't feel, it felt okay. So what we're going to do is take all the wool off from around here, because in the summer, the flies can get in there. Job done. Awesome. I come across as real ochre. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's mission accomplished getting Gav online. <laughs> so Ash can now turn her camera toward the kids. The kids can make their own decision if they want to make the video and put it online. I'm not going to force them into doing it. I thought that we could do a little bit of vlogging about your guinea pigs if you were interested. Is that something you want to do? Sure. <laughs> My guinea pigs will definitely become an internet sensation. Everyone know Moose and Junior. <laughs> and you just lock it in, aim, and lift. We are here at the skate park. The boys, they're going to be showing us some of their scootering skills. Amazing. If you liked our tricks today, give us a big thumbs up. I've dragged this family from the dark ages into the 21st century. See you later, later guys. guys. And it feels great. It's the final day following the wives' new rules. Come on, kids. Yes! If it's Janine's rules, that means we're going to get a little bit messy. And after banning all technology, Janine is showing the Jackson family what life is like offline. So they can just grow whatever they like in their, their own bed. What about all these plants, kids? Yay, sunflower! I've been really honest about the way I think they live unnecessarily online. So where do you want to start? I hope we do don't chop the worms with, with the trowels. So they're my rules, and even if James really doesn't like the idea of no tech in the house and no vlogging, I'm sticking my guns and we're not going to do it. What are these things? Tomatoes. I want to grow tomatoes. We can grow. This is a tomato plant. This is where tomatoes come from. The fact that Ash isn't here, it's like you want to be able to vlog it so that the other one can see. Is this a vloggy moment? Everything is a vloggy moment. If we had the camera with us, then it's always an option. <gasps> Mine is already growing! Wow! Look. I think he really loved being the veggie farmer and animal keeper and he's being a bit more James and a bit less husband of Ash. Oh, look at all the worms. Let's get some of these worms and, and put them in your things. Wait, worm central! Worm central. I know he says he missed his video camera, but I don't reckon he actually did. That oh. is a pretty special view, isn't it? Hopefully now their eyes will gaze towards the new vegetables and less at that faulty television on the wall. Back in the country, a very nervous Gav is under strict orders by Ash to get a makeover. Holy dooly. But he's dead against it. Hi there. Hi. How are you going? All right. All right. Excellent. So I'm Karen. Karen, I'm nervous. Are you? <laughs> All right, well, if you want to take your hat off, we'll have a look and we can work out what we yeah. do. Um... It's not an easy rule to take on. Like, it's a very personal rule. So, were you thinking about keeping any of your facial hair? This bit I'm a bit cautious on. OK. My kids have never seen me without a beard. OK. And they're the oldest one's 16. Yep. This is me. This is what I've always looked like. The kids have never known me any different. Okay. 
Well, we can definitely, you know, tidy that up quite a lot, though. To be clean shaven would be extreme. I'd be naked. What do you mean, like, naked? Are you ready? All right, let's, let's do this. Are you enjoying this, Ash? Yeah, this is fun. Bye. Meanwhile in Brisbane, seven-year-old Heidi is following Janine's new rule to immediately cut back from her eight weekly dance classes. All right, ready? Yep. Instead, spending rare quality time with Dad James. One, two, three. Ah. When Janine was saying that Heidi was exhausted and, you know, it's all taking a toll on her, I feel like maybe that was a bit of projection. That was maybe a bit of what she wanted to see, but doesn't necessarily mean that she's right. Do the spin cycle. Oh, nice. And pass. I'm open. Ah! You having fun? Yep. Yeah. The basketball is kind of my way. Kind of your way. Do you think that because you, you've been good at dancing, now that makes you good at basketball as well? Yep. Yeah? So if you started playing basketball, would you do dance all your dance classes and basketball as well? Well... It's a hard question, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think? Quit dancing. Well, maybe after this time of, of dance class, maybe we might see how you're going. And mm -hmm. if you still feel like doing all your dancing, we'll keep going with that. And if you want to try something, something else with your dancing, we might tr try basketball as well. Yeah. Yeah. If one dance class dropped off, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And, and she's allowed to enjoy more than one thing. So if she wants to play basketball as well. There's nothing wrong with that. We might have to try all sorts of things. That would be fun. Yeah. We can make time for anything that the kids are passionate about. All right, everyone, are you excited to see Dad's new look? No. Oh. Yes. No? You reckon you're going to like it? No. no. Yes. No? All right, come on up, Gav. This is a major reinvention for Gav, and I'm excited to see what the kids have to say about it. <laughs> what do you think? No. <laughs> I don't mind the hair dyeing. Yeah. The beard needs to stay. <laughs> I've actually still got it. Oh, you did it! Good <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why would you keep your hair? Why not? I've had it for 25 years. We can't get rid of it yet. <laughs> We're mates. <laughs> After swapping lives with a complete stranger, the social experiment is now over, and our wives prepare to reunite with their loved ones. I'm a little bit nervous to meet Janine because I have made a lot of changes that I know she didn't want, but I hope that she's able to embrace getting online just as well as her family has. The kids seem so OK with no tech. It's wonderful. But I'm concerned that when Mum comes home, everything will go back to old rules. I definitely am not trying to pick a fight with Ash, but if that's the way Ash wants to run the family, keep them inside and look at the screen and everything's neat and clean, you know, happy wife, happy life. Thank you, Gav. Thank you. You've taught me so much. I'll miss you, Janine. I'll miss you too. Bye. Bye. Bye, Louis. Please just remember <laughs> when you're this amazing, huge, professional skater. Remember where we started, hey? Before returning home, the couples will meet halfway to discuss their experiences. But first, they'll reunite with each other. Hello. Hi. Oh. Is this young, handsome man? 
You made it. Yes, I did. I read nothing. Like, no tech, nothing. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was so bizarre. Our couples can now come face to face for the first time. Hi, you're right. <laughs> yes. Nice. nice to meet you. Two. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I arrived at your house, nice and neat and white, clean lines and white lounge and no toys, just a bit boring. <laughs> it felt like a display home. I saw how you like to clean and you clean with chemicals, which I really struggle yep. with. Yep. Chemicals destroy the environment. It's quite well documented. So the first thing I wanted to do was put your household chemicals in the bin. It just made me want to choke. My first rule was that this home would be cleaned. So there were chemicals. Why? There was a lot of dirt on the floor, quite a lot of flies, cobwebs, and so we were going to clean that up. I'd never want to see household chemicals again, ever. I don't think I can go chemical free overnight. And that's just not what I'm about. Okay. Uh, another rule was that we reduced Heidi's dance classes to just two days a week. It's just to give her a break. Heidi's been dancing for a few years now, hasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So she does eight classes yeah. during the week. Why? Why do it? your tight scheduling for these very young children. I just, I don't get it. You don't get to see, like, what she gains from it. We're not training for the Olympics. I'm not a fool. This is something that you want her to do. I think it has been good for her personality type. Oh. I'm pretty in sync with the kids and what they want. But does she love eight classes a week? I just felt a little seven-year-old under the pump. She did seem quite tired and better off sleeping. She had time to go and play basketball with James, which they loved. Yeah. I just wonder if you can gain as much confidence about learning a new skill non-competitively with a parent in a relaxed environment as you can from a structured and quite expensive dance class. It's not my decision, it's hers. There's plenty of technology around your house and that seems to be quite a focus. Didn't sit well with me. So my golden rule for the family was that I took tech out of the household. There was no TV and the vlogging stops. I really didn't agree with videoing the kids' family moments and then posting them online. That's the ultimate betrayal of privacy. There's no way I would put that out there. But that wasn't a betrayal of privacy. Not online. Privacy is disappearing and people are putting themselves online willingly. Yeah. So, my golden rule was vlogging with each person in the family. No. And those videos are now online. No. And I videoed Gab. Yeah. I didn't get a choice. Oh, I didn't see that coming. OK, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not totally fine with it. Um, it was a rule, but it's not a law. I, it would take a while to absorb. Um, it's an idea. Rather than talk about it and describe it, I may as well show you it. We kick off with the boys. You've got a family channel. Wow. What do you think about it? It's not my thing, but, I mean, they jumped at it. Yeah, right. They were all for it. I was it. a hesitant one. OK. I was Maybe. the one that dragged and chained them. Yeah, well, we're more old-fashioned than our children, yeah. I suppose. That's probably yeah. what it comes down to. Yeah. It's pretty innocent stuff up there, isn't it? It's kids riding scooters, so it might be OK. Yeah. 
How do you feel about the hair? I've been asking him for 25 years to cut that beard off. So bye-bye, beard. Do you beard. miss it? Nope. Really? <laughs> nope. You sure? Yep. <laughs> you didn't keep I did. the beard. Been, we've had that longer than our kids. I'll put it in the compost. <laughs> <laughs> That's environmentally friendly. That's it. We'll grow some veggies with it. <laughs> Janina, we really enjoyed having you in our house. Really, it was, really? Yeah. It was, it was good being able to see it from the other side of the tracks. Mm. My knowledge on the country was not great and I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your home and learn those lessons because I pushed myself past a few limits and I'm looking forward to going home and testing out some of the things that you've tried with my family. Great. Yeah. But you're not going to make it as a country girl. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> I don't think she wants to. <laughs> right, so I think that's it. All right. Let's do it. Thanks very much. Thank you. After reaching an unexpected truce, the wives can finally return home to their children. Hey. Little boy, three, four. You miss me? Mm-hmm. A lot or a little bit? <laughs> I actually love this experience. You know what? I'd do it again. I would. Showing someone else how we live, apparently that could be really interesting. Who knew? <laughs> do you want to keep doing the YouTube videos? Mm -hmm. Did you like watching yourself on them? Mm -hmm. yeah. Captivate the crowd, the cheers and applause. We're so proud. We got that pop song, it's in our head. Melodies will make us move, we can't help but dread. Hands up in the air, we're lost in the sound. We're catching that electric feeling, we're floating off the ground. The sun. Floors our stage, our kingdom of groove Where dreams ignite and inhibitions we remove We're addicted to the rhythm, it's a heartbeat With every move we feel the music complete 